Hey guys, Carl Cooper with OnTheBlack.com. Today is Thursday, August the 13th, 2009, and I have a Q&A segment for you. Got two questions for you. The first one come fr comes from San Fran Giants fan one, and the question is, what is the key getting back to the postseason? Um, so I, I think that there are a number of things that can contribute to a team having a good year and getting to the postseason. But if you ask me to pick one particular thing, I'm going to say pitching. I'm going to say good, consistent pitching, uh, because I really think that if you can have good, consistent pitching throughout the course of a season, that's when a team can go on a, a stretch and go on a, a run. You know, a pitching staff can carry you more and better than an offense or even playing good defense. And, you know, case in point, you know, let's look at your own San Francisco Giants. The Giants are 14th in runs scored. They don't really have a good offense, but on the flip side of that, they're number one in the National League in terms of ERA with a team ERA of 3.45. So, you know, pitching really carrying the Giants right now, and they're in the hunt for the wild card. You know, if you look at the Mets, my team, you know, their pitching has been up and down all season long. You know, Santana's been, you know, relatively good this year. He's had his moments when he's been bad, but he's been okay. But if you look at the rest of the pitching staff, starters two through two through five, you know, they haven't been good. Even, you know, they've had a lot of injuries. So there's been a lot of people the Mets have had to plug in in that two to, to five spot. But, you know, all everyone that they've plugged in has been inconsistent. You get a good game here, then a couple bad games here, then up and down and up and down. And, you know, the Mets really never got on that run this year, never won for a long stretch or never really put together a good winning streak. And you're seeing that now they're, they're out of the playoff hunt. So I think the key to any team going to the to the playoff starts with uh, with good, consistent pitching. And my second question comes from P-H-U-C-K-I-N Champs 26. And he's a Phillies fan, but he is a friend of the show. So Mets fans, just take it easy on him for a little bit. And his question is, do you like the fact that ever since the mid-1990s, most major league teams have gotten new ballparks? And the short answer to that is yes. I like the idea of the new ballparks. I'm glad that baseball went through kind of this, this sort of renaissance period. And there's a couple reasons for it. One, a lot of the old, old ballparks were falling apart. And two, you know, a lot of the old ballparks really weren't built specifically for baseball. And let's take, let's take a look at where your Phillies used to play, the old vet. That was used as a baseball and a football stadium. Now they're at Citizens Bank Park, which is specifically a baseball ballpark, and it's more conducive just for a game of baseball and not for any other sport. And I like the fact that you can go to a ballpark and, and watch a game. You know, also let's remember that baseball is a business, and these new ballparks are an attraction and they bring in revenue for the teams. You know, an example, let's look at my team, the Mets. Right now, the Mets are out of it. They have no shot at making the playoffs, you know, but in speaking with some fans, they're still going to go to, to, to see the Mets play at City Field this year. And the main reason is because they want to visit the new ballpark and they want to spend time in, in the ballpark. And if you spend time in a new ballpark, you're going to spend money. So the teams will, you know, continue to make money. And these new ballparks are a revenue generator. You know, on the flip side of that, I will say that there are two ballparks out there that are that are old school in style and I have to get to them myself but I feel that every baseball fan should make a trip to these parks including myself and that is Wrigley Field and Fenway and you know if there's any two parks that I would say that are in baseball that I never hope leave it would be those two parks so that concludes my Q&A for today guys let me know what you think talk to you soon